tip goes to Bethesda as they were in good position to get that. And we're underway here as Nasanubu with the basketball dribbling between the circles. That happens sometimes. You get the tip, but you don't get the ball. Yeah. <laughs> not quite alert. Not not real alert on that tap, were we? Shogo was in great position to catch it. Yep. Seven on the shot clock. And now the first three-point attempt of the night is off the mark by Nara. The rebound to the Gauchos. And here they come. A couple of dribbles. And Ja'Cory McLaughlin is in the front court with it. UCSB, like last Sunday, has a tremendous size advantage. The girl Ramsey from three-point range on the left. A good reversal at the end of the break in getting the open man. That was a good open shot. Gauchos have tremendous height advantage inside. Robinson, Enahan getting the start at center tonight for the Gauchos. Here's a block shot, beautifully done by Miles Norris. And Norris has his first block as a Gaucho. Here's Ramsey up to the front court. Miles looking for a three. He's a great three-point shooter from City College of San Francisco. He missed it, but... Edehan rebounds and scores, and it's quickly 5 nothing Gauchos. I think the defense uh, the Gauchos play has is, is got to be consistent, and uh, pressure on the ball has to be consistent. Hopefully that'll, that'll be good all through the game tonight. There's a crossover dribble, and underneath Lewis, you kick it back out, and a long three on the way by Bazil. That's off the mark. The girl Ramsey's got the running rebound at the free throw line. Back to McLaughlin. Jacory's three. No good. And another rebound by Edehan. Puts it up and scores. Edehan is going to have his uh, his way down low, I think, tonight, Coach. Yes, I think so. He's uh, 6'10", and I think the tallest player they have is 6'4". And Brandon Cyrus comes up with the turnover. Great defensive play. Edehan slam dunk. And Miles Norris on the assist. Nine to nothing, Gauchos. Just like that. Rushes. This gets quick with the ball. Very quick. Nasanobu penetrates, kicks it out. The three on the way is off the mark. Norris the rebound. That three by Pineda. And here come the Gauchos in the front court. Norris now to Debril Ramsey. Edehan was open. Now he's got to get out of the paint. That one tipped out of bounds. Uh, he just mishandled it a little bit, looking for Edehan to try and come up the middle there. And uh, Ramsey just mishandled the ball. Glad you could join us, all the Gaucho fans out there, and folks from the other side of the court, the Bethesda fans joining us as well. Welcome to all. There's McLaughlin in the paint. Good kick-out pass, and Cyrus Brandon can hit the three with the best of them, and Edehan's got another rebound. He's got two rebounds, and now a basket. He rebounded his own shot. <laughs> That's how you improve your statistics. <laughs> 11 to nothing, Gauchos. This Bethesda team played UC Irvine, a Big West Conference opponent of the Gauchos. How about that block shot by Miles Norris? And now it's a very late whistle if it's on Miles. Yeah, it is. Hmm. A very late whistle. It looked like it was pretty clean, Coach. Yeah, you know, he, he, but he didn't get over in front of him. If he'd got in front of him, it would have been clean and it would, would have stopped the drive. So I think uh, Coach is getting on a little bit about not getting into the lane quick enough to stop that drive. Nara, the free throw, two of them coming up, and Bethesda's on the board. But I was going to mention Bethesda has played uh, UC Irvine already, and that was not much of a contest. UC Irvine, the rival of the Gauchos in the Big West Conference, beat them 135 to 55. Yes, I think it could be anything that they want here, but more importantly, do they execute and are they excited about stopping somebody, both with the ball and off the ball? We'll see how that goes. Watch us in the front court, leading 11 to 1. They switched that uh, exchange there with McLaughlin and uh, Robinson. And here's Shakori at 3, straight away. Got it. 14 to 1, Gauchos. Gabriel Ramsey picks up the assist. I think he was on the sideline when he caught it was Gabriel Brazil. Yeah, he stepped out of bounds. Oftentimes when you catch it close, your, your, your back foot to initiate your drive sometimes does go out of bounds. Jari Sani comes in for the first time tonight. He was very impressive in his Gaucho debut on Sunday in the win over St. Catherine. I 
think he's going to be a good one. He's a two oh, guard. Yeah. Some point guard, but mainly a two guard. There he's up for a big shot. No good. And Miles yep. Norris follows it. Yep. 16 to 1 Gauchos. Getting ready to come in is Destin Barnes for the Gauchos. Here's a reverse layup attempt. That's off the mark by Lewis. Gauchos have the rebound. Here's Cyrus. Front court leaps it for Norris. Miles with a scoop layup too hard. Yep. And a whistle here. And that's going to be against Bethesda. He was trying to avoid the charge, was Miles, and... Uh, no, I, I, I don't mind it up here. It's it's actually uh, pretty good. We've got better yeah. vision of the court from up here than you do down on the floor, so... I like this position. Destin Barnes has checked in along with Josh Pierre-Louis. Louis had 12 points Sunday night. He bounces the ball into Edahan and Robinson. Just that easy. 18-1, to Gauchos. A good entry pass there by, uh, by Josh. Yes. To get the ball into the low post to Edaham. Josh from Plainfield, New Jersey. Family back there watching. They're three hours ahead of us, so that's a late start for them, 8 o'clock. Now here's a dribble drive by Yosinobo. Gives it off to Lewis, and he travels. Yep. I think he was trying to make a ball fake and, and a shot fake there, but didn't work out. His feet got tangled a little bit. Ramsey in the front court with it. Trying to eat ahead. No way for him to get down low. Barnes. Here is Pierre Louis and Josh into the paint. What a great scoop layup, and he scores. He's fouled it counts. Josh Pierre Louis. That well, first step is so explosive, coach. Yeah, it is. It's quick, and he gets by, and then he has time after he gets by to evaluate and read who's going to come in to try and draw a charge or try to block a shot. So. He's, he's got such good quickness that it gives him an advantage when he goes to the basket, if he gets under control. And he was under really nice control that time. Jakob Kukic has come in for UCSB, 6'10", 230-pound freshman from Croatia, as Pierre-Louis completes the three-point play. And also, Ja'Cory McLaughlin has come back for the Gauchos. Chris Murray has come in for Bethesda. All Gauchos so far, 21-1, to one, now making 21-3, to three. that's a nice layup. And a good drive by Rian Nera, the all-time winningest head coach during the first three seasons of any coaching campaign here at UCSB. 66 wins in his first three years here on the job. Gauchos lucky to have him. Very Here's nice pass. Nice, nice pass, pass inside, and that basket, an easy basket by Jakub Kukic. 23-3, Gauchos. 14-23 left first half. Screen on the ball. Trying to turnover. get it inside on a little turnover. Nara trying to bounce pass into the paint there. It was unsuccessful. And for Bethesda... Garrett Rentmeister, a freshman guard, is coming in. And there you look at uh, Garrett. Shogu Sonobu goes out. Kukic sets the screen now for McLaughlin. Jacory weaving his way into the paint. Nice kick out. Pierre Louis wide open. Three is good by Josh. He's been working hard on his uh, facing the basket outside shot, the three pointer. and pull-up shots along the way. He's, he's, uh, he's, he works hard. He's dedicated to getting better. No question. Coach Pasternak was not too pleased with the final 10 minutes of Sunday's game against St. Catharines. Uh, St. Catherine. Here's a baseline jumper. That's forced and that's missed by Brazil, and the Gauchos have the rebound. Here is uh, McLaughlin, a three. Got it. Jacory from the right side. The coach Pasternak was not pleased, coach, with uh, the final 10 minutes defensively. Right, because they, they allowed a lot of open shots, and uh, there was a give, giving up type thing on defense, and that you don't want to get those kind of habits. And that's a blocked shot by Pierre-Louis, and Josh trying to finish at the other end, has it stripped, and it goes to Garrett Rentmeister for Bethesda. So good transition defense by the Flames there. Yes, good defense on the uh, drive. 
Here's a drive by Bazil, cut off nicely by Kukic. And now a three straight away is good by Gabriel Bazil. Good looking shot from three against uh, the 6'11 freshman from, uh, from UCSB. 29 to 6, Gauchos with the lead. This game does not count in the standings for Bethesda. It does count for the Gauchos, as we understand. And a pull up jumper by Sonny is good from the right elbow. So nice. Ajari Sonny with the right elbow jumper. Coach. Little two, two dribble pull up jump shot. Yep, that's what the defense dictated. They were falling off. So he, he did the right thing. Sonny's first two points of the game. Robinson Padehan. Leads all scorers with 10 points already. Here's a three on the way, and that's missed by Gabriel Bazil. The Gauchos with the rebound. No look pass by McLaughlin. Very in nice. to Jakob Kukic, and he scores. Give the assist to McLaughlin, and it's 33 to 6 Gauchos. Nice pass. He looked away, looked him away a little bit, and got the open lane. Gauchos just happy to be playing somebody wearing a different uniform. Yeah, for sure. And that's a nice move and a Shot that just missed by Rion Nera. Gauchos just clear it the other direction. Here's Barnes. Barnes goes Good. up and scores. Nice little head fake. Good control. The end. Yep. Gauchos have 35 points, and we have not reached the 10-minute mark of this first half. Brazil, little scoop wow. shot under Yakov Kukic, and a nice play. Nice, nice maneuver there. Real quick, back with that right hand. So 35 to 8, 11 06 left to go, and this is a foul. And Josh Pierre Louis was fouled on the play. Good games, lead ups, it gives you video to do your teaching and coaching. Uh, the, of course, the Division One teams are coming up on the schedule as we go along. Gauchos open Big West Conference play with two games in a row at UC Irvine the end of December, and then they come here to play two in a row against Fullerton, and there's Miles Norris with a nice kiss off the glass. Good pass from Ramsey, the point guard, for a little roll-off. Chris Murray with the ball for Bethesda, and Gaucho's back off, and he'll fire a three. That's no good, and Robinson Adehan back in the lineup pulls down the rebound for UCSB. Screen on the ball, entry into the post, back out, open shot. Nice skip pass, and here yep. is Sekou Torre in the game, and Sekou's yep. going to the free throw line for two. Sekou, another very quick uh, perimeter player that the Gauchos have, and, and he's been working hard. This Here it comes here. Nice first step, and he did get fouled. Chris Murray on the foul, so Sekou will have two free throws and rolls that one out. Back in the lineup for Bethesda, Christian Lewis, and he'll replace Chris Murray. That was just Murray's first foul. Team foul number four on Bethesda. The Gauchos have one foul, and the second one is good. Gauchos with a 30-point lead, 38 to 8, 10 24 left, first half. Good hedge defensively there by uh, Miles. This is Shaquille Russell, who's in the game for the first time for Bethesda, wearing number one. Back at the dribble out is Yasunobu. Now right. he'll go into the paint. He went into a lot of traffic, didn't get it. Here is Tori. Seku ahead to Sonny, missed it. Seku the rebound, and he's fouled on the play. Jari Sonny was moving at 100 miles an hour there, coach. We'll look at it again. Yeah, he and he got, got free and he, just he upset with himself. Hit. Yeah, he got hit, but he, uh, they only hit him on the hand with the ball on it. Official didn't think it was a foul. That was Torre who got fouled before the putback. Sinku down the lane. Nice pass to a day head, and Robinson slams it home. And Torre gets the assist there. 40 to 8 Gauchos. That was a good pass, and he did not charge. He was a stop short of the defender. Here's Russell with it. The hard drive to the right of the paint. Nowhere to go. Terrific defense by Brandon Cyrus. It was good help that time. And here is Bazil. Wow. Three. That's not close. Norris the board for UCSB. Here is Ramsey. Getting nice it down to eat ahead. And nice. Robinson scores again. Ramsey gets the assist there. Gauchos are 
just rolling in this game. This is such an outstanding UCSB team. And Bethesda, you give them all the credit in the world for being out there and playing as hard as they can play, but uh, a lower division team and really just not one that matches up very well at all against UCSB. And look at the scramble on the floor by the Gauchos. They're up 42 to 8. They're diving on the floor like it's a, well, a tie game. That's good, and that's a good enthusiasm by Brandon Cyrus to, to create a loose ball. And then the foul, of course, was on Turek, who came in and, and uh, jumped on top of him. But good hustle on defense by Brandon Cyrus, number 11. Seku picked up the foul there. Jay Nagel is in the game for the first time tonight, wearing number one for the Gauchos. Here is Shaquille Russell with it. Running the point, didn't start, but he steps back for the three here, rinse it out, and the rebound comes down to Miles Norris. And the Gauchos quickly the other way, looking to add to this tremendous lead. And they do with a tremendous slam by Miles Norris. Good pass uh, to the trailer, and it was wide open going to the hoop. And a late whistle there. They're going to get Norris on that foul. Reaching a little bit instead of standing in front with his feet. All right, it's not on Miles. I beg your pardon. They're going to get uh, Cyrus, I think. Cyrus, Brandon Cyrus on the foul. Yeah. Look yeah. at this dunk one more time. Wow. It's very nice. Oh, Great man. pass. Good pass. Leads it right into the good shot. Miles Norris, the Tomahawk slam as Russell at the free throw line. Can't get that one to go. Rian Nara back in the game. And going out is Shogo Yasunobu. Very quick guard. Uh, number two. He's, he's really, really quick to the basket. And Russell makes the second. So Bethesda with nine points now. At the 8 and 16 mark. Of this first half, 44 to 9, Gauchos with the lead. It will get considerably tougher for UCSB on Monday night when Loyola Marymount comes in. Here is Torrey, Seiko with a good drive, missed the layup, battling for his own rebound, couldn't get it, tracked down in the far corner by Chris Murray. And here's a turnover as that pass from the Rentmeister went one way and the intended Thunderdome. That is not any kind of a misprint on the score. That is the actual score, 44-9. Gauchos with the lead, 745 left first half. And here's Brandon Cyrus with it in the front court. Out of Nagel on top. Barnes back in the game. Nice pass down low to Pierre Louis yeah. and Josh able to finish. Nice pass by Barnes. Coach set that up in the timeout. That was a good uh, special play that they run. Very nice. Touches with 46 points. Quick hands by Brandon Cyrus. Kind of like a boxer with a little jab there, Coach. Yep. Knocked it out of bounds. <laughs> he does He does have good quick hands and, oh, long, he's and long arms. Tremendous player. He's, he's tough to, uh, when he's defending you and re he's really into it, it's, it's hard to sometimes uh, execute. Shaquille Russell steps back for three. That's an air ball coming right down to... Pierre Louis ahead to Cyrus. Great job by Brandon to save it from going out of bounds. Sure was. Here is Nagel with it. Back out to Pierre Louis. On top is Barnes. One bounce dribble, and he gets a pocket pick by Shaquille Russell. Russell the other way. Goes up and is fouled on the play. So kudos to Destin Barnes to at least make sure that Russell didn't score the basket. He's yeah, he got, back. It. he got back and defended it. It was just a... Uh, a quick steal that he got. He exposed the ball at the other end and, and was able to get it. It was knocked away from him. Yeah. But, he, but he didn't give up on the play, and that's good. That's a good thing. So Shaquille Russell, who made one out of two his last trip to the line, will have two free throws. Misses on the first. Well, except for a, an early defensive breakdown by the UCSB Gauchos, uh, Coach Pasternak has to be very, very pleased with the way his team has defended and the way his team has gotten out in transition. Yep, good transition stuff, and uh, it's there and it's open, and so they're not running a lot of offense because they don't have to, but uh, the transition game is there, and taking good shots is important. That's on uh, Shaquille Russell. Yeah, team foul number steal. six on Bethesda, and that's Russell's second personal foul. 
There's Coach Pasternak. Yep, they're in leisure leisure suits, those are travel suits. Those are nice. Much more comfortable than a coat and tie. <laughs> well, the coat sometimes comes off of Coach Pasternak pretty early in games. Here is Pierre-Louis, and that's yeah. out of the corner for three. Oh, Josh Pierre-Louis. And the Gauchos by 40, 49 to 9. Yep, he's, he's been working on that, that outside shot. Pierre Louis, like a lot of these Gaucho players, is going to be fun to watch this season. This is Chris Murray, nowhere to go. Now tries to create on his own. Did a nice job to free himself for the jumper, but missed it. And Pierre Louis, the rebound. Josh cut off by a trio of Bethesda Flames. Here's Nagel inside, and that's going to send Jay to the line for a one and one. That's team foul number seven on Bethesda. That is number three on Shaquille Russell. That was pretty crowded to put the ball on the floor. Yeah. I thought he had a shot when he first got the pass from Josh. And uh, uh, he's 6'9", and, and of course the tower is open against him. But when you bring it down, put it on the floor, you're giving them the little guys an advantage. Mm -hmm. But the defender, did slide in front of him, but didn't foul him, obviously. In for Bethesda is Shogu Yasunobu and Shaquille Russell with his three fouls will go out. They go one out of two, but there's Pierre Louis with the rebound, spinning, tied up, yep, and jump ball. it'll be a help ball, and on the help ball it'll be Gaucho basketball. And here is Jakob Kukic coming in for Jay Nagel for UCSB. Kukic is an interesting guy. He's, he's a freshman, obviously from Croatia, and uh, learned to play over there. He's learning the American game now. And, uh, he has some potential. I, I like him. Corey McLaughlin back in the lineup, inbounding. Jari Sani in there as well. Dustin Barnes. Pierre Louis and Kukic, the five on the floor for the Gauchos. Here is Sonny out of the corner. Three is good. Nice pass from uh, from McLaughlin. Fifty-three to nine, Gauchos. Five thirty-three left first half. And they are just on fire at both ends of the floor. Here's a spin move and a nice shot with the left hand put up and in by Nara. That was a good move. Read the defense and he went to the open, open way. That was a good move. Pierre Louis in the front court now to Kukic on top. Here's Barnes. He'll fire up a three and get another one. The Gauchos are red hot from downtown. 56 to 11, five minutes to go, first half. The main thing I think, Jerry, is that they are open shots. They are not yes. forcing. Those, those are open. A collision out there with Yasunobu and Nara. Yasunobu with it. Good quickness there on the drive. Nara pulls up the free throw line, leans in. This is Lewis along the baseline. Good ball movement here yep. by Bethesda. Very There's nice. a three on the way by Bazilk to beat the shot clock, but he missed the shot and the rebound to Barnes. That was probably the best yeah, half was. court offense, and that's going to be on. Yakov Kukic, an offensive foul inside. That's team foul number five on the Gauchos, but they're probably the best in the game so far by Bethesda. That was a good offensive possession by Bethesda. They moved it well. They dribble penetrated and kicked, and they had about four or five, six passes and got an open shot. Just didn't make it. That was Barnes' three-pointer a moment ago. going to be a traveling violation. Sloppy turnover by Bethesda. And the Gauchos will inbound along the far sideline in the back court. McLaughlin is playing a point now. And uh, the off guard is uh, Ajari, number 13. And there's the postman screening for the point guard. Kick to the open guy. There is Sonny missing and Kukic with the rebound. Almost traveled, but did yeah. well to keep his pivot foot down. And now Pierre Louis open three, and Josh missed that one. That was one that he's going to make a lot, but he missed it there. Nara the rebound. 
finds a way to stop the ball. Good job by McLaughlin. And a reverse layup is good. Wow. What a play that was by Gabriel. Uh, check that by uh, Chris Murray on that reverse layup. Yeah, very nice play by Murray. 56-13, under four minutes to go. Media timeout, next stoppage of play coming up. And here it is, Pierre-Louis. And Josh with a great move along the left baseline. When you can get up in the air and stay up in the air, you can do a lot of things with it, can't you? Certainly <laughs> can. Mark Patton, our great Santa Barbara News Press senior sports writer, wrote uh, a very nice piece on Josh Pierre-Louis for the Santa Barbara News Press uh, the other day. Here is uh, a drive and a shot put up by Lewis. Missed it. Rebound McLaughlin. His underhand pass up the floor and a nice job by Ajari Sani to keep it in. Get it reversed. It's Pierre Louis. Great first step. Lost the ball though when he got he down forced low. It. He forced it. Nara will launch a left handed three. That's well short. It's out of bounds off of Rentmeister. Devero Ramsey and Seiko Monday at the Thunderdome. Yeah, their, the schedules are changing so rapidly, and, and there's availability. And so coaches, I think, are calling and just trying to get more games in, mm -hmm. trying to get some preseason games in. Robinson, the day had his back in the lineup, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for a one-and-one. One. Yeah, they, that was on Yasunobu. Yeah, the little guy came back in. A good double team, very quick double team by Bethesda, but he reached in and fouled it. That's a nice job by Robinson to collect that ball after it. Uh, yeah, because he did get fouled. Down to the yeah. floor. There's Leo Malion, the uh, head coach for Bethesda. And Dayhan misses the front end of the one and one. That's Christian Lewis high for the rebound. Fifty-eight, thirteen, Gauchos approaching two minutes first half. Nara with a nice pass to Rentmeister. Nowhere to go. The Gaucho length just too much inside for Bethesda right now. Yasunobu to the baseline. Ooh. And there is a it's shot put really by Murray. Offensive, and really that's an offensive, offensive foul. foul. DeBurl Ramsey taking the charge. We'll look at it again here, Coach, as yeah. Murray goes baseline. No question. I mean, he banged right into him hard, and there was a delay in the whistle. I think one official thought the other one was going to call it on the baseline. Maybe, yeah. He jumped in and called it from out in front. Ramsey could bounce pass inside to Very the day nice head, and Robinson Very fouled nice again. Sense. This time, I believe the foul is going to be on Garrett Rentmeister. It is, yep. and that'll be a two-shot foul situation. Here you see Robinson working hard. Every time he touches it, he's double and sometimes triple team. But Bethesda just doesn't have the height, no, and the bulk to keep up with these uh, Gaucho frontline players. Darn it, he's been working, Robinson and Dan has been working so hard at the free throw. He just got to have a little success there, and I think he'll start nailing these free throws. But it's, uh, it's in their head sometimes, you know, when you miss, you're thinking about messing instead of thinking about the success. <laughs> yeah. Fifty-nine, thirteen, Gauchos, minute 30 to go, and here is a drive and a shot from underneath by Murray is short. The day had the rebound. Gaucho's up in the front court. Nice drive by DeVerl Ramsey. Very nice control at the end of the, the drive, too. He hesitated and then made a, made a good move. Naro with a step back three. That's no good. Ball tipped to the day head and the other direction, the Gauchos. Nice extra pass to Norris. Miles with a scoop layup. Yep. He was about five feet from the basket and extended that right arm quite a ways for that scoop layup. <laughs> he made it, and here's a near turnover by Bethesda. When they get it back and the three on the way by Murray, that's good. 63 to 16, final 44 seconds of the first half. I want to remind everybody that the UCSB Norris was hit in the face that time, no call, and Murray, the other direction, is going to lay it up and miss the layup. Norris, the rebound. We'll get to that uh, promo in just a second here. Here's Miles. Cyrus now back out to DeVerl Ramsey for the final shot. 20 seconds. Yeah, one shot. 
The Gaucho women are going to be in action on December 9th at UCLA. That's an 11 o'clock start, and that'll be next Wednesday at 11 o'clock against UCLA at Poly Pavilion. Here's Ramsey. Step back. Two-pointer is good, and the Gauchos with a 65. And any kind of zone at all, it's all been straight man-to-man. -man. But we'll see what happens in the second half here. Stay, same starting lineups for both teams as we had to begin the game. And here's a jump, a step back jumper by Lewis. That's off the mark and the rebound McLaughlin. Here comes Jacory. He knows he's got traffic behind him. Gets it up to Brandon Cyrus. Cyrus, nice penetration and kick back to Jacory McLaughlin. Now down to Edehan and Robinson scores. Edehan now with 17 points. And the Gaucho lead is 51 67 16. Edehan actually turned to his right hand over to, to the left shoulder that time instead of going only with his left. That was a good move by Edehan. McLaughlin three, that's off the mark, and the rebound, Miles Norris for UCSB. Boy, McLaughlin's wide open in this near corner. Now they get it to him. Back out to Ramsey, the extra pass. Miles Norris, three pointer, good! Three. That's good ball movement. Got it to the open man for a wide open three point shot. Miles Norris can really shoot it from three point range. Yeah, he's, he's a real good range shooter and a, a good creator also. And a turnover here by Bethesda. McLaughlin ahead to Ramsey. Now they leave it for Norris, and Oops. Norris the underhand pass to Cyrus, and Brandon wasn't looking for it. Well, Brandon was going through. He was so far out. You gotta do everything you can to stop this. Uh, this COVID from spreading. Mentioning Miles Norris a moment ago when he hit the three-pointer, transfer from City College of San Francisco. Norris was the leading scorer of his team last year and was the junior college player of the year in the state of California. Here's a drive, and Edehan blocks the shot, and there's a whistle and a foul here. Let's see if they're going to get Norris on it or if they're yeah, going to get I Robinson. Think, I think it's they got be... Robinson. He looked like he no, got this clean. Yeah, it's a, now they gave it to Miles Norris. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah. So it's Norris on the way up instead of the block. I thought he got the block fairly yeah. clean. Yeah. But Miles led City College of San Francisco to a 30 and 0 record last season, before the season was abruptly canceled because of the coronavirus. Very heavily recruited player out of high school, and he went to uh, Oregon and, and then transferred down to the City College. And got a good year, obviously, when you can win 30 games and get good stats. You, yeah. You're playing against pretty good players in the community colleges in California. Oh, well, we certainly are. So one out of two made by Christian Lewis, and here's, it's 70 to 17. Here's some zone now, a little 1-3-1 one, one trap. How about that yeah. pass from DeVero Ramsey to Miles Norris? That's one way to beat the 1-3-1 one, one trap, just <laughs> lob it in for the dunk. <laughs> that is certainly one way to beat it. So Norris with an emphatic slam dunk off the alley-oop from DeVero Ramsey. Yep. Pasternak out near mid-court yelling defensive instructions to his team. Very difficult. Uh-oh. He went down pretty hard. Hope he's okay. Turnover here is McLaughlin now leaving it for Norris. And it deflects to Edehan and Robinson scores. And now uh, they'll tend to the injured player Shogo Yasunobu. He went down pretty hard. I think Here's he how he his... went down, Coach. Yeah, there. See, he hit on his tailbone, and his head hit the floor, too. But I was worried that he, that he had a leg caught under there or something. Cyrus goes out for the Gauchos, and Ajari Sani comes in. Sani wears number 13. So like... they'll, they'll take uh, Yasunobu off the floor. Hope he's all right and can come back. Looks like maybe he got a little bit of a tweak in his neck. Jackson's down there, the uh, UCSB trainer. Chris Murray in there. And so is Nara. Nara cut off. Nice bounce pass to Murray. Oh, yep. That was a good play. Yep. A good cut. Uh, McLaughlin took his eye off the ball and... Uh, or took his eye off his man and 
looked at the ball, and that's when he got beat on that cut. And they find Sonny open in the corner, and Ajari rims that one out. And the rebound comes off to Rion Nara. Another zone possession for the Gauchos. Lewis on the drive, and he is hit and fouled on the play. And that's going to be on Sonny. That's the second team foul, and the first on Ajari. They're driving the ball good. They're getting that first step by our our. Uh, Five of the Gauchos, and that's how they can be use their size uh, and their quickness. Look at it again here. Yep. Did they got that on Robinson. Was that foul? No, on that was on uh, Jari Sani. Oh, okay. Sani, the transfer from the University of the Pacific, from Houston, Texas. Yep, his dad played at uh, the University of Arizona. A good player. Gouch was lucky to keep the ball, and it was a good job by McLaughlin. Here is uh, Edehan inside. A nice pass by Jacory McLaughlin. See, that zone is is uh, got cracks in it, obviously, and they're penetrating it and then getting it to the big guy inside. 21 points for Robinson Edehan, and the Gaucho lead is 76 to 20. Here's a three out of the right corner, and that one falls through. Nice stroke by Gabriel Bazil. Actually, I beg your pardon, that was Japheth Pineda hitting that three. Here's the zone again. You can see they can get a double team, and it comes right back out to McLaughlin. 79-23, Gauchos. Under the 16-minute mark, we'll have a media timeout with the next stop at you play. And a turnover here. Norris now ahead to McLaughlin. And here is a nice drive and a left-hand layup by DeBurrow Ramsey. Ja'Cory McLaughlin giving it up, getting the assist is McLaughlin. 81-23. Very nice pass from McLaughlin. Another steal. And another and turnover. Yeah. And this foul is going to be on Chris Murray. Go. Second half, 81-23, Santa Barbara with the lead. It has never been close. Destin Barnes is in the game for the Gauchos. He inbounded there to DeVero Ramsey. Josh Pierre-Louis is also back. He's got the ball on the left wing. There's a wing-to-wing -wing pass against the zone. So you can kind of watch and see how they operate. There's penetration against the zone for an open shot. A, a jump shot or a runner, I guess, I guess more of a runner than a jump shot. And Basil has his pocket picked by Ramsey. Here comes DeVerle the other way. DeVerle trying to outrun everybody. Lays it up. No good, but he's fouled on the play. And he'll get two free throws, and that fouls on Christian Lewis. That was a tough shot. I mean, he was going real fast. And it's hard to take the momentum off of it. Watch this. He's going real hard, and it's hard to ease up on the shot when you're going that hard, and it banged up there. He almost made it, however. And DeVerle's first is good. Game for UCSB is Jakob Kukic. In for Robinson a day, and then he's uh, he's got 21 and probably about 15 rebounds, I would think. Yep. I would agree with you. And Ramsey makes them both to roll ahead to the bench, and Sekou Torre will come in. So now you have uh, Ajari at the point, and uh, Sekou and Josh are playing at the wings. With Distant and uh, Jakic playing inside. Here's Lewis on a drive. Good defense by Barnes. Cut him off right underneath the basket. And Oops, Nara out travel. of control. No yep. call. Seku comes up with it. Sani gives up the three, and now they'll set the offense up. Oops. Barnes open in the corner. Nice head fake. And then he lost the ball. Stripped by Brazil. The other direction is Lewis, and good defense by Pierre Louis. As Josh got up, didn't block it, but bothered it enough. He tried to swat it, but he <laughs> missed it. <laughs> uh oh. Pierre yeah. Louis limping a little bit. Yeah, he he just, on the floor. just turned that little right ankle a little bit. 
And there's a bump and a layup is good by Ajari Sadi. And he'll go to the line for one to try to complete a three-point play. And the Gauchos now up 85-23 with 13.44 to go. Great play by very nice Sonny that time. Good control at the end. He went up and softened the shot on the, on the glass. And the three-point play is completed. Nacho Bench yelling defense, even though they're up 86 to 23, they still, they want to turn in 40 minutes of solid defense. That's right. And there's a drive, and there's a, well, it's hard to contain smaller players driving it by the bigger players. That was Rion Nara with the basket, and a nice play with a left-hand layup. 86-25. Tori Seku in the paint, stripped, and that goes out of bounds off of Bethesda. The Flames thought it went off of Seku Tori. Uh, and there's the slip a moment ago by yep. Pierre Louis. Josh was just a little there, tweak of that yeah. right ankle. He's all right. He's yep. rebounding the ball, and he gets it here to Barnes. And Dustin scores from underneath. So Dustin Barnes with the basket, approaching the 13-minute mark, and the Gauchos are approaching 100 points. Again, they got by. And the kick to Nara. That one hit the side of the glass and then went in. And Joe Pasternak wants a timeout. He's none too straight to the basket. Straight line drives, we used to call it. Let's go. Let's stay in front of the ball. Yep, that was a good timeout. And the extra pass by Pierre-Louis to Sekou Torrey. Now Jay Nagel in the game. He's got it. Out to Torrey. This is Barnes. Good defense by the nice pass. Torrey. Looked like he traveled. traveled. No call, but he makes the, the runner off the glass. Jay, Jay Nagel on the assist that time. Sekou Torrey with the basket. The Gauchos have 90 points. And that was good ball movement by the Gauchos that time. They moved it quickly and got it in for a, a good driving shot. Here's a left elbow jumper, and that one rims out. Torrey the rebound. Chris Murray thought he had a basket there. Seku pulled it down. Here is Barnes. He'll let a long three go from straight away. Kukic keeps it alive to Seku Tori. Tori driving in. Scores on the layup. Give the credit there to Jakob Kukic, who kept that one alive. Yep, that was good tip for the, uh, the layup for uh, Seku. Nara will force a three and get this one to go. He was well defended there and yeah. made the shot. Yeah, it was right over the right over the hand of Destin Barnes. There's the zone again, but Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Josh Pierre Louis. With the Tomahawk Slam, coach. That was penetration against the zone, but that went really quick. <laughs> 94-31 Gauchos, 11.08 left. Second half, and Kukic comes up with a steal. Now to Barnes. And Destin is bumped before the shot. Let's look at this again, Coach. This is fun to watch. Pierre Louis, Coach. You can watch that all night. You know, it was good move because he went off of both feet, and he wasn't going to charge anybody. He didn't go in there out of control. So. Gage Gomez. Was... I'm sorry, Coach. Go ahead. Gage Gomez, freshman from Arroyo Grande High School. Up north a little bit is in the game for the Gauchos. He wears number 50. Uh, Jari Sani getting ready to come back in. Kukic hedg hedging out and stays with his man, but a very nice drive to the basket and score by Chris Murray. Tough, tough to guard a guy that's smaller. There's Gomez on a nice give and go. Gage with the basket. 96 33 Gauchos. That was one of our walk ons that plays every day against the starters. And, uh, and uh, he's, he's, a, he's a good player and he's a good kid. He works hard every day. Secutori off the narrow miss. Good pass. And Barnes, an easy layup. Gauchos. Are the Gauchos calling a quick timeout here? 
Timeout. 98-33, 10.09 left. Timeout. He called a timeout to get something said to them. Well, he's, he's, you got the timeouts. You might yeah. as well use them if there's something that needs to be said. Oh, I see. There's. I'm sorry. Looking down to the right here. Somebody on the baseline. Got a player on the floor. Yeah. yeah, yeah I did yeah. not see that. that. I think he's got cramps. I think he cramped up. That's uh, Rion Nara. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Here, look at it again, coach. As he comes down. Oh. Well, maybe he came down on his ankle. That right ankle might have got a turnover. Yep. yep. That's unfortunate to yeah, see. Yeah, it is. It's too bad. Yeah, he did yeah, come I, down I awkwardly. Down I didn't there. see it either. I didn't see it either. So we certainly hope Rion Nara is not dealing with anything too serious. Bethesda is trying to penetrate as best they can, but there's yep. just nowhere to go. And now a nice jump shot on the left baseline by Gabriel Bazil. Yep, that's the option for uh, if you get off of me, I'll shoot it. And if, if you're on me, I'm going to go by you. That's kind of what they're doing here in this half. Here's Sonny for three. That's off the mark. Rebound inside. Kukic is fouled on the play. Porta is in for Bethesda. Eliabi Porta. And so Kukic is going to go to the line here for two as he was fouled on the play. The product from Croatia. Jackson's getting double duty tonight. He's taking care of both teams. Yeah. Our trainer. <laughs> very, very good trainer indeed. Yep. Keo Russell comes back in for Bethesda and going out is Jepeth Pineda. Uh, Pineda. One more point. The Gauchos are 100, and they'll have to wait for that. That's what you got to see more of is stopping the drives. Move your feet and stay in front. Stop it. There you go. That was better. It certainly was. Nagel missed time, just jumped the first time, but then was able to hang in the air to get that rebound. Here is Barnes along the baseline. A lot of contact and a whistle, and they're going to call... A foul here on Bethesda, and that is on Gabriel Bazil. Watch it again. And, yep, that's a good cause. Yep. Bazil, yeah, number get... 22, reached in there. That's his third personal 16 foul. Here's Gage Gomez with it. Gomez almost had his pocket pick, but did well to keep it. And a jumper by Barnes is off the mark. Ball tipped out. It'll go to Gomez. Gomez inside. The extra pass to Kukic. He's fouled on the play. What a nice little touch pass that was by Jay Nagel inside. Yep, it was, wasn't it? And yeah. a nice pass by Gomez. Yep, Gomez made a good kind of a steal, actually, on that outlet. And then two good passes after that. Good recognition that somebody was open, and they got it to him. Jay Kutori getting ready to come back in for UCSB. So oh. Kukic to shoot two free throws here, and he has another first. chance to get the hundred, and he's choked them both. A <laughs> hundred points on the last free throw on this one. Let's see if he can get this one in there. That foul was on Chris Murray, by the way, that sent Kukic to the free throw line, and the Gauchos still have to roll for three. Yeah, this is a lane violation, I think. Lane violation. And he's going to get another chance yep. to make the 100 point. And that was on Porta, the lane violation. So Yakov will have one more. He's such a, such a good shooter, too. I, I can't understand what he's, uh, what he's there thinking you go. there. All right. One for four and to get to the 100. And the Gatchos are at 100. 100 to 35. UCSB with a 65-point lead, 8.46 left to go. A drive by Yasunobu and a nice kick pass to the far corner. That three is off the mark by Shaquille Russell and it comes down to Nagel. Here come the Gauchos up the floor. Here's Ajari all the way to the basket. Sonny missed it. Ball tipped up by Kukic and that rolled off the iron. And Russell the rebound. And then dribbling into traffic and drawing the foul is Chris Murray. 
And they're trying to get this group. This group now is uh, Ajari at the point, and then you got the Seku at the wing, along with Gomez at the wing. So they're they're kind of different, a, a different pattern here. I don't think they played much together in practice even. But, and of course now then you have um, you have the four or five guys inside is Kucic and uh, and Jay Nagel, but. Uh, Nagel's been playing some at the three and some at the four, so this is good practice for him to get some time with Jakic at the five. Murray makes the first, misses the second, and Pukic the rebound for UCSB. That foul is on Nagel at the other end, by the way. Here's Jay getting it down inside to Jakob. Good pass back out by Jakob. And Gomez for three. Got it! Gage Gomez from the right side. He could shoot the long ball at Royal yes, Grande High can. School, and yes. he shoots it here at UCSB. Here's Russell, and Gomez blocked the shot. <laughs> Gage doing it at both ends of the floor. That was a good play he made on defense there. There's a screen and a pop. And ball out of bounds off of Bethesda. That'll bring us to immediate timeout. And the Gauchos are cruising to a 2-0 record to start the season. They'll have Loyola Marymount coming in here on Monday night at 5 o'clock, and Coach Pim and I will have the broadcast for you beginning at uh, 4.45. Into the game for the Gauchos oh, is Nico Rokat. Good drive, good drive. Now that time he should have shot it. He was on the way to the basket and passed it to somebody who was not really open. He had the layups. He's got to start reading the defenses when he's driving to the bucket. And uh, making the play, and we call finishing the play. So Nico Rokak with the pair of free throws, he banks the first one in, he'll take it. <laughs> well, that wasn't on purpose, as you can see from the kind of the nervous look on his face. <laughs> he is from Geneva, Switzerland. Yeah, and, and he plays hard every day in practice, too. Gets them both to go. 105 36, 735 left to go. time. Roka got a block shot. Yes, he did. He, stayed, he stood his ground and reached up, had the size advantage, and got the block. Nice move by Torrey Seiko. Nice hit for Nagel. That time he made the right play, as opposed to the time before where he was passing when he should have been shooting. Here's a quick three out of the right corner, Ooh. and that is good by Gabriel Bazil. Very nice. 107.39, Gauchos with 6.47 left. Underneath the alley-oop, and a whistle here as Josh Pierre-Louis looked like he was held down there. Yeah, he was. Number one got him. That's Shaquille Russell, and that's his fourth. Coming into the game is Kyle McLean for UCSB. McLean, 6'2", 170-pound freshman from Westlake High School in Westlake. Just about probably uh, an hour or so south of us, mm -hmm. maybe a little less than that. It's good that these guys uh, that play every day in practice get a chance to get some game time here. And how about Pierre-Louis staying with it? Josh back up with it, scores it! Josh, yeah. Josh Pierre-Louis with the stick to it of this, and he gets the basket there. The Gauchos got the rebound on his own missed free throw. Yeah. The Gauchos by 70. And that one not close by Bazil. The Lions. And Nagel three. Good. Three. Jay Nagel with a three-pointer. Good pass from Seku. Gets the assist on, on the break. He was in the middle lane. And another shot is missed. Oops. That one by Russell, but the offensive board pulled down by Porta. Nice job by Porta. a drive and a shot put up. That's no good by Rentmeister, and the Gauchos lose the ball again. And Bill Mahoney telling us that the 112 points the Gauchos have scored in this game 
Oh, nice move that time in the layup. Add two more to that total. Beautiful move by Nico Rokat. 114 to 39. The 114 points is a new Thunderdome record for most amount of points scored in a game. No kidding. Wow. Yeah. Previous was 109. I'll be darned. And Gomez spinning yeah. at midcourt and then fouled on the play. He was knocked down by Porta. Is Gage Gomez, and he makes the first left-handed stroke. Destin Barnes came back into the game along with Kyle McLean, and the second one is good. Gauchos again, as mentioned, will play Loyola Marymount on Monday night here at the Thunderdome, beginning at five o'clock. That'll be the first Division One opponent the Gauchos have seen so far in the early season. And the bench still chanting defense, coach. Well, they're, they're trying to keep contain the drives. There's another drive, and it's hard to contain. You know, it's, the kid from Switzerland is out there, uh, 6'9", 220, trying to guard a six-footer who's going to take it by him on the drive. So it's tough, tough assignment for, you know, those guys that are they're used to guarding people out on the way from the bucket, but these guys are very quick. And that was a nice move. Yeah, Shaquille Russell on that move, and the free throw is good. Nico was the last line of defense there, too, so that's not all on him. No. Russell made the good move on the perimeter to get free. And misses the second. The rebound, McLean. Let's see if the Gauchos can get the ball into McLean's one, three, hands, who's a, good shoot, who's a good scorer. 1-3-1 one, one zone. And that three out of the corner by McLean is missed. Rebound inside Rokic. Now the ball loose on the floor, and Bethesda the other way with it. Lewis driving in, was tied up by Barnes, and on the held ball possession, it'll go to the Gauchos. Nice play by Destin Barnes. I look at it one more time here, just tying him up. Yep, he did get the ball. Here's the 1-3-1 one, one zone again. Let's see if these guys that, that probably haven't played a lot together yet, this this group out here. Well, that was that was one way to attack it. <laughs> yeah. Not sure Coach Pasternak liked that particular I shot don't selection. Think so. I don't think so. No. I think they want to penetrate the gaps and make passes to open people. Yeah, a three-pointer the other way by Chris Murray is good. Actually, they gave him two on that. Foot on the line, 116-42, 3.47 left to go. Here in the game. Here's McLean with it. Nice head fake. Pull up jumper, right baseline. That's too strong off the right, uh, off the uh, back rim. And De Destin Barnes inside, rebounds and scores. Good move after he got the rebound. Spun to the open area. 324 left in the game. Gauchos 118 to 42. As you can tell from the score, this one has never been in doubt. There's a Pretty high good pressure that time. parking shot, no good, by Russell McLean, the rebound. And Nagel will launch a three. Jake can fire that three. He can hit it. Yeah. This time he missed. Murray flies through the air to get the rebound. And nice Murray. play, nice play. Move and Nagel picks up the foul. The shot fake and uh, Dustin went for it. Barnes, uh, Mark Few has just done a great job of recruiting. He and his uh, coaches, and they've got really good players. Chris Murray with a couple of free throws off the Jay Nagel foul. Two forty nine left to go. The Gauchos will improve to two and zero. Oh. That's one no good, and the rebound by Rokek. They're in this 1-3-1 one, one zone again, as you can see. And there's people open most a lot of places. There, oop. He brought it down. That'll send Yakov Kukic to the line for two. That foul was on Pineda. Look at it one more time, Coach. Nice little shovel pass by Jay Nagel. See, he brought it down too low. He didn't get it up away from those little guys. 
he's going to learn that the higher you hold it, the quicker you get it up to that height, the harder it is for him to get to you. Mm -hmm. Especially those guards. You bring it down low, and uh, you've, exactly. always, you've always talked about this. You bring yeah. the ball down low, and you let those guards in on the, the exactly. party. Try exactly. to swipe it away. He's a really good free throw. I'm really surprised that he's missing free throws for some reason. He's got a great shot. And uh, I was joking when I told him. And so the Flames will bring the ball up the floor with Chris Murray. Nacho Bench still chanting defense. Here's a long three by wow. Ren Meister. Wow, that was a good shot by Garrett. And he's indicating that he can do that every time down if you give him a ball. Number 55, a good looking shot from the perimeter. And travel. they go travel. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the triple threat position. If you try to abbreviate that position and you're standing up too high, you're gonna you're gonna travel. You gotta get down into that triple threat position and turn and face the basket. Here's Rentmeister again. Had a open look that time, but passed it up, and a three on the way from the right is good by Pineda. Yep, they're getting some shots, and they're hitting them. 119 to 49, and here's Gomez up the floor. Gomez gets it inside to Roca, and he lost the ball. It was knocked out of bounds off of Bethesda. Boy, this is a good-looking Gaucho team, isn't it, Coach? They're going to be pretty good, I think. It's just they, they've got to... They've got some games coming up that's going to help them get better. With Loyola, it's going to be a much better team. And then, of course, Pepperdine. Yeah, they play Pepperdine on the road. Yeah. They'll play Loyola here next Monday. And then the following Saturday, they'll be at Loyola Marymount. Here's McLean with it. Nice pass inside. Yeah, good, pass good pass by yeah. McLean to Nico Roca. And yeah. that'll be an assist for McLean. And the basket by Rokek, and it's 121 to 49. Gauchos with a minute 15 to go. And there was Russell on the sidelines. And he, he was. stepped out of bounds. Yeah. You see shooters do that sometimes, and it's got to drive a coach nuts. Yeah, you know, just, the back foot. Yeah. To get the momentum to shoot the ball, you sometimes take that foot and, and jam it out of bounds. Gaucho's also setting a new program record with 34 assists in this game. And Nagel was trying to go for 35 there, and that pass was deflected away. Here's Nagel, three-pointer out of the corner. That's off the mark. McLean tips it up and keeps it alive. And that one is put back up and in by Nico Rokak. But to give young Kyle McLean all the credit in the world there, he yep. had to reach behind him and keep that ball alive, that rebound alive. And he did just that. Excellent. That was a good tap. And Roca steps out and blocks the shot. Now the Gauchos, there's about two second shot clock, game clock differential. So let's see if they attempt one more shot or just take a violation and have it be a game. Oh, they're running some offense. Mm -hmm. 13 seconds. There's a good drive. And this will be the final possession of the game for Bethesda. And outside is Rentmeister for three, and he got it. And that will do it with 1.1 second remaining. So the Gauchos win at 123 to 52 over Bethesda.